So it turns out that Ken cheated on me with a brat doll. Hey fam, the day has finally come. Well, almost, it's tomorrow. It's not, it's not the day yet, it's tomorrow, but you know what I mean? Tomorrow morning, the time has finally come where I will be moving all the way across the country from New York to Los Angeles. So last year what happened is I actually visited LA in March. It was a, like a dream vacation of mine that I've been manifesting for a long time. And what I was surprised to find out was that I actually liked it there way more than I expected to. I actually freaking loved it. I love the fact that it's a city, but it's also warmer. It has a lot of similarities to New York, but the biggest difference is like the weather. I can't do the winters anymore. I can't shovel. I can't do it. I can't. I can't. But yeah, that's why I'm moving to a city where it literally never rains, it's always sunny, and even in the winter, it's like in the 60s. I'm hoping to skip the blizzards this year. However, there is a casual monsoon scheduled upon my arrival, which I think is so funny and cute. It's just like a funny little cute thing that they just threw in there. It's so funny, like a cute little fun, like a little fun like water park ride, just going down the hills of LA in my rental car. but. It'll be fun. It's gonna be, I'm just gonna go with the flow. Mercury is in Gatorade right now. I'm just gonna go, like I knew I did this to myself when I booked the trip during the retrograde, like I did this to myself, but it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take a breath. I've traveled during retrogrades before and it's worked out, but it's been really hard. It was really difficult. It was very challenging that last trip that I did during the retrograde with like just a bunch of travel stuff. It ended up all working out and it was a really, really, really fun life-changing trip. So like I said, I'm moving from New York to LA. I spent like most of my adult life living throughout the city. I lived in Manhattan, uh, the Bronx, Brooklyn, and I went back and forth between Long Island where my family's from, which is where I am now. But yeah, I've never traveled somewhere on a plane this far with this much stuff. I I've always just had access to like a car, a minivan or something. So I've never, I just, it's, I cannot believe I have to fit all my stuff into like three suitcases, but we're doing it. We're going to make it happen. Let me show you what I have so far. So right now I only have three suitcases. I have this one I'll have for, this is my mini. I'll have that for carry on as well as my backpack. This actually fits right under the seat. And then I have my big suitcase, which is like 45 pounds. She is skinny. Ugh, I gotta, I gotta put more stuff in it. And then I have my medium suitcase. Then I have my special item, I guess you could say. I have never carried a special item on a plane, but yeah, this is all my equipment. My lighting tools and stands for lights and I don't even know what else is in there. I have so much stuff. But yeah, we're gonna make it work. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna take a couple breaths and it's all gonna be good. I do have some last minute errands to run for today. I uh, gotta cancel like my local gym membership and go to the bank and whatever, but it's gonna be great. So the next time I see you guys, it will be three o'clock in the morning when I leave for the airport for Los Angeles. Mm. I ended up getting up at 2.30 in the morning and by 3.30 I said goodbye to my childhood bedroom slash studio and all my memories I have here. Then I packed everything finally into my three suitcases and my backpack and my extra bag. The airport wasn't too busy, but it also was for like four o'clock in the morning. It was strangely busy. After this, I did find out that there were flight delays, but I so slightly missed them. I got very, very lucky. Here I am having no idea that there's about to be a whole flight delay problem, but I got very lucky. I made it to my flight on time and actually very, very early. And I had a whole row to myself. So I actually had a seat way further up in the plane, but I was like, no, I don't want to sit next to people. And I moved all the way to the back and I had a whole row to myself. Yes, queen. And before I knew it, it was 7 a.m. and it was time for takeoff from JFK to LAX. The sky was gorgeous, honey, but still very, 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 very cloudy. But overall, it was a pleasant flight. Flew over the Grand Canyon. And of course, the second we arrived in California, there's major Major turbulence. There's a whole whole ass storm going on. I've never seen anything like this in LA, but here we are the day I arrived with all my stuff and it's raining, but it's fine. I knew that, but we made it. Everything is good. Guys, I made it. I made it. I made it in one piece. I made it to LA. I'm here. It's sunny kind of. It was raining when I got here. Uh, not cute, but I could see blue in the sky and the sun has come out and it is beaming through the 17 windows in this place. Oh my God, I feel so relieved being here. I just unpacked all of my stuff. I'm finally settled in, but I'm starving. I'm so hungry because I haven't eaten since 10 a.m. Eastern time and it is now 3 p.m. Western Pacific Standard Time. So I'm starving. I'm gonna go maybe to Erewhon and buy like a $40 salad. <laughs> I'm so tired. Now I'm gonna see what everyone has for for lunch, dinner, for dinner, I guess. 
and um i don't know i might just walk around the area if that if, if i think i just don't want to spend the money on that right now i might just go somewhere else but you gotta try it you can't you gotta wait no you gotta try it. you can't diss it you can't diss it until you try it but yeah anyway i'm excited to be here look sunshine you can kind of see not really that doesn't really do it justice i'm gonna go to the store i'm gonna buy buy food but I'm gonna eat before I go grocery shopping because you can't, you can't, you cannot. I'm so tired. Sorry. You you can't go to the grocery store on an empty stomach because then you buy shit you don't even know. You, you, it's like chocolate and all this stuff I don't need. So I'm gonna eat first and then I'm gonna grocery shop at Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna buy my real groceries at Whole Foods and then I'm gonna buy the rest at Target. Let's go. So before leaving, I said goodbye to my neighbors and then my first stop today is. Everyone, I got this vegan sushi roll, which was actually really good. It was fairly priced. Then I had the steering contest with this little doggy at Erewhon. He wanted my food, but I couldn't give it to him. But that's okay, because then I went to the 99 cent store. And let me tell you, this store, this is a good store. But we don't have these where I'm from in New York. But I will tell you, the main difference here is that everything was pretty neat, organized. They had a good selection, and everything was, like, actually, like, $5 and under for the most part. Which I was surprised to find, because Dollar General is, like, 10 plus. Then I walked along Sunset Junction for a bit as the sun began to set it was a gorgeous day after that i mean there were still clouds in the sky but it was really nice out said hi to some of my other neighbors just while running errands i could see both griffith and the hollywood sign which i you know as someone who just moved here i think that's pretty cool it looks pretty cute especially in the sunset then later that week i went to the academy museum this is the oscars museum if you'd like to call it they have a really cool rooftop view i didn't get that great of a view because it was cloudy but it was a really cool view of all of hollywood and los angeles then i went inside the museum they had classic movies playing and all the facts about them they had movie sets some set pieces from different films and they also had a whole room just filled with oscars i know shrek's oscar was in that room as well then i decided to stumble around a bit in the area because you know once you park somewhere you just gotta explore the area because parking isn't cheap but i did find this market at the grove i did find it by accident this is really cool i I really can't wait to come back here this reminds me of reading market in philadelphia but the only difference is that it's like pretty much mostly outside and it was really nice it felt much more spacious there was more seating than reading market then i stumbled upon the main part of the grove i had no idea this place existed i thought i found a hidden gym but apparently everybody knows about this i was just walking in the area when i turned a corner and i found what really just looks like disney springs or downtown disney i love outdoor marketplaces and malls because in new york we don't have them as much and even when we do we don't get to enjoy them because seven months out of the year it is freezing but this was really nice they had fountains outdoor restaurants a little pond they had theme music playing so it was really relaxing and you know you really just got to enjoy your time outside take your time not in a rush to get anywhere i can't wait to come back and try more restaurants here and maybe actually do a little shopping but we'll see then, oh, they also had a trolley ride, which was so cute. They had the trolley tracks, but I wasn't sure if there was an actual trolley, but there was. I'm not sure how this works. It looks like it would be free to ride. It only goes so far, but yeah, it's such a cute double-decker trolley. Here's the Apple Store. Here's the rest of the Grove. I really can't wait to come back here and explore more stuff and more stores and more dining, but here's the trolley making its way down the street. She is gorgeous, honey. Look at her. Oh my God, it was so cute. It only goes so far, but... It looks like a cute little ride. It's giving Disney. It's giving Magic Kingdom. It's giving Disneyland. She is the moment. But yeah, anyway, I'm loving living here so far. It is taking a lot of adjusting, trying to figure out the parking situation and driving up and down hills. But I love how there's, you know, the, the much milder weather, especially in the winter. And it just feels like people aren't nearly as aggressive here as they are in New York. It's just really nice and really refreshing, to be honest. And it's just, it's also really nice just being able to go outside in the dead of winter and have nothing but a light jacket. For now, that is all I have to report on. Let me know what you want me to do next in LA. And that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you in the next one.